It was a season of highs and lows. I think we started the season with the goal of being competitive in the Ivy League, so in that sense we were. Um, we opened up, I believe, in Iowa, played an unbelievable game against Iowa, an unbelievable team. I think we would have seen a lot of Iowa in the tournament had they, they got a, a serious injury in the middle of their season, but they're a great team. We played with them and some think outplayed them, just couldn't put the ball in the basket and a couple key shots at the end of the game. So, so we had this great hope that we were as good as we thought we were going to be. Uh, the very next day we played terribly and lost to a team we feel we shouldn't have lost to. So that sort of was the start of the season and probably what we battled, highs and lows, um, inconsistency. Um, it was wonderful to finish on a high note though. So I feel two of our best ball games were against Hofstra and against uh, Temple. Both teams I thought uh, had maybe a little more athleticism, a little more experience definitely more height than we did and um, it was a great team effort in both games so you know that bodes well for next year again we're going to miss Lindsay's leadership off the court and Brogan's leadership on the court but you know we have kids ready to step up and fill those shoes. Our team this year was a combination of you know a great nucleus of experience in Brogan and Clarkey and Vic and then added to that was basic newcomers in Emma, Emma Golan. Um, Miriam is not a newcomer, but you know she broke her hand right at a key point last year, so lost a lot of valuable experience that we would have liked her to have. Missy, who I thought was tremendous off the bench for us this year, literally didn't get into games last year. So th that's young. You know, we we didn't even give those players garbage minutes. They just literally had no game time experience and so to go from that to be such an important part of our team this year and do so well is uh, just exciting for us as we look towards next year. Um, they're all very valuable. Um, they all have a, a good skill set but they're also role players. They, they will do whatever it takes for this team to win whether it's rebound, whether it's defense. You know we have Three, we had three prolific scorers in Brogan, Victoria, and Clarkey, and so yet Maud probably is the best three-point shooter that's ever worn a Harvard Crimson uniform or, or up there with them. Miriam's a great rebounder and a defensive specialist, so you know she doesn't. Even though we'd like her to score more points, she doesn't care. She'll do whatever she needs for this team to win. And Missy is will probably be one of the best defenders to ever play here. Ellie, when she first came to Harvard, I told her that she had the potential to be the best rebounding guard to ever play here. And, you know, she's shown signs of brilliance, both her freshman and sophomore year, but she was never able to sustain that. Um, and the second half of this year, I think it came to be. She is a, a phenomenal rebounding guard. Um, and I, and again, that's a kid who, you know, hasn't had a lot of experience or game time under her belt. and. I believe the more she gets on the court and realizes what an impact she can make just purely as a rebounding guard, then you don't have to worry about your shot, you don't have to worry about your handle, you don't have to worry about, she's a very good defender as well. So again, that's a kid who doesn't care about her own numbers, um, she, she's a role player who will do anything to win. Uh, Bro Brogan is, is, is definitely one of the best point guards to ever play here in my, in my time, in my 30 years. Um, and she came here with just a great skill set, a passion for the game, a great court IQ. Um, she's multi-dimensional as a point guard. She's, she's a very, very good passer, yet she's a great three-point shooter, and she can score off the dribble. Um, so, you know, you, you can't teach that. I, I recruited that, so it was terrific to have that for four years. We will definitely miss that um, because that's exceptional. Um, Christine Clark. Um, you know, what words describe her? She's an incredible athlete. She has a passion. She will dive through the floor. She will dive through the wall. She finds ways to score. Um, she still has a lot of growth that, that she can add to her game. And she, I, I think her work ethic, you know, tells everyone that sh she will be a better three-point shooter next year. She'll have a better handle next year. You know, she's just going to be very exciting in the league, maybe one of the Ivy League's best players ever, 
if she keeps growing. Uh, Victoria is also a, exciting in a different way. She's, uh, she's ice. She just has won so many ball games. She doesn't care if she missed, you know, three threes. She'll hit her next three. She's a terrific three-point shooter. Again, she can post up. We can. She's a swing player. She's a true swing player. We can play her in the three spot or the four spot because you can post her up. She can take you off the dribble, and she's one of the great three-point shooters. So, yeah, it's it's. I feel great that we're going to take someone like Vic and someone like Clarkey and add her to what we thought we would have had this year in Temi is an All-American, you know, inside player. Um, it will be really exciting to see that combination next year.